But you mentioned Ortiz, uh, Virgil Ortiz. How far is he away? How close is he to a title shot in sharing the ring with Bud Crawford? I don't know. I don't know. But Virgil, you know, he's right there. You know, he's right there. You know, he's been proven uh, that he belongs with the top uh, fighters in the division. And, you know, uh, who knows? A couple of fights or next fight or whatever the case may be. He might be sharing the ring with Terrence. Who could be Crawford? Oh, better skills. Better. I literally think... He has better skill. But you mentioned Ortiz, a Virgil Ortiz. How far is he away? How close is he to a title shot in sharing the ring with Bud Crawford? I don't know, I don't know. But Virgil, you know he's right there. You know he's right there. You know he's been proven of it. He belongs with the top of fighters in the division. And you know who knows a couple of fights or next fight or whatever the case may be. He might be sharing the ring with Tur Virgil Ortiz. Jur is right on the cusp of a title shot and could soon share the ring with Terrence Bud Crawford. While the exact timing is uncertain, Ortiz has consistently proven that he belongs among the top fighters in the division. A couple more fights, or perhaps even his next bout, could set the stage for a showdown with Crawford. Ortiz's recent win, despite going the distance for the first time, earned him the WC light middleweight title. Although it tarnished his perfect knockout record, it also brought him closer to the big leagues. Ortiz didn't hesitate to call out Crawford after his victory, signaling his desire for the next big challenge, the potential clash between Ortiz and Crawford is generating significant buzz, especially as the highly anticipated fight between Crawford and Canelo Alvarez seems to have lost momentum. Fans and experts alike are intrigued by the prospect of Ortiz stepping into the ring with Crawford given Ortiz's relentless fighting style and his recent success in the ring. Ortiz's return to the ring after a 17-month hiatus saw him quickly dispatch Frederick Lawson and Thomas Dorr earlier this year. This momentum has sparked discussions among boxing experts about Ortiz's readiness for a fight with Crawford. While some believe Ortiz has the skills to complete, you think Virgil could beat Crawford? Oh, better skills, better. I literally think he has better skills. And that's only the it's not the punching power, it's the it's the yeah. Crawford has ring IQ like there's no tomorrow, but he was exposed last Saturday night. He was Crawford others, including notable figures like Ryan Garcia, caution against underestimating the challenge that Crawford presents. Crawford, who recently made his light middleweight debut and secured the WBA and WBO titles, has shown interest in facing Canelo Alvarez. But with that fight seemingly off the table, a matchup with Ortiz could be the next big thing. However, some experts suggest that Ortiz might benefit from challenging other reigning champions, first such as Bastian Fonder or Backer Murda, alive to further refine his skills before facing Crawford. Oscar De La Hoya, Ortiz's promoter, has expressed confidence in Ortiz's ability to beat Crawford, citing Ortiz's superior skills and ring generalship. He believes that Ortiz's power speed and ability to adapt in the ring could give him an edge over Crawford. Crawford, who date La Jolla ACC claims, was exposed in his recent fight against Israel in what way, what do mean exposed in a way, where if you change up your style, if you don't stay in front of Crawford, okay, if you, if you're not a target to him right in front of him, he'll pick you apart. But if you're on your toes, and you throw your jab, and you're throwing your hooks, and your combinations, he has trouble figuring you out. And with Virgil Ortiz's power and speed and ring generalship, it can be a great fight as the light middleweight division heats up the potential matchup between Ortiz and Crawford promises to be an exciting showdown with both fires eager to prove themselves as the best in the division. Whether Ortiz is ready to death on Crawford or if he'll face other top contenders first one thing is clear, Virgo Ortiz Jur is on the rise and poised to make a significant impact on the sport. Zufonder secured a surprising victory despite being injured while Bocic won a unanimous decision against Brian Mendoza. Teddy Atlas praised both fighters for their power punching but warned we're going to go back to the hotel and celebrate because in our hearts and Serge knows that he's a champion. He would be here right now. He didn't want to go to the hospital. The commission mandated that he goes to get a precautionary CT scan, so we're not going to argue with the commissioner or the ringside doctors. It's its only precautionary, and my understanding is Virgil did the same thing, so without taking anything away from the fight, you got to give both of these warriors a lot of credit. So it's just for us, we feel that he's still the champion. We feel he 
he won that fight should still be relying too much on power. Without developing other skills could be of disadvantage. Bohatship is a solid fighter known for working behind his jab with trainer Robert Garcia and Virgil Ortiz emphasizing countering the right hand over the jab. Atlas finds a potential fight between Bohatship and Ortiz intriguing, noting box granite chin and the explosiveness on both sides. Allery mentioned that while Virgil Ortiz Jure is not yet at the level of a star like Terence Seed offered in terms of name and money, his recent win positions him as a top contender for a WBC title. Ortiz Jure's victory could push for a Crawford Ortiz bout, possibly in Saudi Arabia, by late 2024 or early 2025 after overcoming health issues that kept him out of action in 2023. Ortiz is eager for big fights in the welterweight division. Ortiz Jr.'s bout on Saturday was his third of the year, showing his quick rise in 2024. Trainer Robert Garcia believes Ortiz Jr. could be too strong for Crawford if they fight at 154 olds, but there are concerns about Ortiz Jr.'s hand speed and his tendency to advance recklessly, which might make him vulnerable against faster opponents. Ors Jr. is under the Golden Boy banner and aims to fight three to four times in 2024 with potential opponents including Gerald Charlo or Tim Zhu. However, for Ortiz Jr. to challenge the top fighters in the division, he needs to face tougher opponents who could prepare him for the likes of Charlo and Stu. The possibility of a Crawford Ortiz Jr. fight is exciting, but Ors Jr. must first secure a world title to make the bout more appealing despite being inactive for a while Ortiz Jr. is rapidly making his way back to the top. But his true caliber remained somewhat untested against the league contenders Crawford, who recently claimed the title in his fourth weight class, looking for lucrative bounce before considering retirement. His performance in recent fights, including a win over Israel Mav, was solid. But some like boxing commentators, the adult felt the fight didn't live up to its potential. Crawford's pay-per-view numbers were reportedly low, leading to speculation about a financial loss for the Saudi backers of the event. Despite this, Crawford remains a top pound-for-pound -pound fighter, and a matchup with Ortiz Juro or a return bout with Juro Charlo could be on the horizon as Crawford continues to see big money fights before the end of his career. Underscore underscore on this summary keeps the essential details while making the information easier to digest Crawford until that Mac. Sure to check out some of our other videos on the screen if you enjoyed this one.